G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Today's super simple and super easy recipe will go perfect with any dinner, I guarantee it. So join me today as I make my version of a very basic cheesy garlic bread. Okay, so to start off with into a bowl we're going to place in our softened butter. Then some finely chopped up parsley. Now this next step can vary slightly. I'm using some minced garlic, which is garlic, it's just minced up. You probably use about say three to four garlic cloves. But for minced garlic, I'm going to use about two tablespoons. And just mix that all together. Okay, next I'm going to use a French breadstick. Now obviously this isn't the whole stick. This is some of it that I've just cut off. So what we're going to do now is just grab our butter mixture and we're just going to give that a very decent buttering. You want it nice and thick because that way it's going to seep down into the bread itself. Okay, so next we're just going to put this back together and we're just going to wrap it in some aluminium foil. Seal it up. Okay, so we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Okay, so I've just taken it out of the oven. As you can see, the Butter is just about completely melted. So what we're gonna do now is just grab some shredded tasty cheese. And we're just gonna put some cheese on top. Okay, so now we're gonna put this back in the oven just for a couple minutes, just until the cheese is nicely melted. Okay, so just take them out of the oven and they're looking and smelling fantastic. Now how simple and easy were these to make? Now I'm just gonna give one of these a try. Oh, that is good. <laughs> now it's slightly crunchy just on the outside, but you got a really nice buttery garlic taste in the middle. Oh, I'll tell you what, that tastes simply delish. And as a side dish, that doesn't get any simpler. It really doesn't. This is perfect as a side dish for any dinner meal. And it will definitely taste better than what you buy in the shops, I guarantee it. So thank you for watching this episode of Tots Kitchen. A list of ingredients are down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus pages. Please show me the love by giving me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.